Hi, and welcome back to another Excel demo with Rich Kerr. In this scenario, we're going to take a look at using the form control called a scroll bar to help us with data entry or the modification of data. Uh, so in this basic scenario, I've got a list of locations and uh, sales figures and expenses. There is a total for the sales figure. And I have a cell called profit margin. Right now, the profit margin is set at 10%. So imagine you're trying to illustrate uh, your sales scenario when you want to achieve a certain profit margin. So if I wanted to talk to my audience about what sales would need to be in order to achieve a 20% profit margin, by using the scroll bar, I can scroll up to 20%. And notice every click of the scroll bar increments that number up, and the values in column B are tied to the value in cell F1. So the scroll bar is controlling F1, which controls these. And then, of course, the chart is connected to that range. So let's talk about how to get the scroll bar uh, included. So I'm going to delete it. I'll right-click it and then remove it. And then we'll talk about how you can use it. So to get the scroll bar, you'll need your developer tab enabled. If your developer tab is not enabled, right-click on any one of your existing ribbon tabs and choose Customize the Ribbon. And from that window, you can choose Developer. And that'll enable your Developer tab where you'll find the Insert icon. It looks sort of like a toolbox with a wrench and a screwdriver icon. I think in earlier versions of Excel, it might have been a hammer. But it's the same functionality. So when I click this uh, Insert icon, I get a drop-down menu that shows me a list of what are called controls. Now, controls are on-screen elements that let us interact with our data. And the controls menu is divided into two sections. The form controls can be used without programming. So if you don't know any VB, you don't want to learn any visual basic code, you go with the form controls. Now they have their limitations as compared to their more enhanced brethren in the ActiveX controls group. So, you know, both sections have, for example, what's called a combo box and a checkbox, spin buttons and uh, and scroll bars but they're just they're more powerful in the ActiveX section but in this video we're not talking about writing any code so we'll just use the standard scroll bar so I'm gonna click that in the form control section and my mouse takes on sort of that thin uh, plus symbol uh, look and I can draw out a horizontal or a vertical scroll bar and it will behave the same way no matter whether I make it horizontal or vertical for this scenario just based on the way my spreadsheet is laid out, I'm going to make it horizontal. So I've got the scroll bar on screen, but when you first put it out there, it, it doesn't do anything. So you have to sort of tell Excel how to handle the clicks of the scroll bar. So again, if I right click it and choose Format Control, it shows me the Format Control window where I can affect its behavior. So there's a couple of settings that we'll put in here. Let's say we will not allow the value to be negative. So I don't want to allow a negative value. In fact, in this particular case, it won't go negative. So the minimum value for the scroll bar will be zero. And let's say the maximum value uh, is, uh, is, is 200. So we'll allow the user to put a maximum value of 200 uh, into the, into, or have that as the maximum value of the scroll bar. Now, every time they click either the up or down or right left buttons, we want to change the value by one. So if it's at zero, uh, when I click it, the, the up arrow or the right arrow, it'll go up to one, then two, then three, etc. Um, now, if if you were using your page up, page down buttons to move the scroll bar, you can say, well, with the page up or page down, it'll go by ten, not just one. So we go from zero to ten using the page up and page down buttons. Uh, now, what's what's uh, crucial to re remember is that. This can only move the value in integers. I can't move it by, say, 0.2 or 0.035. So it's got to be a whole number. And so that has an impact on how we're going to use the number uh, with our sales figure and how it's going to be formatted in cell F1. But I need to link it to cell F1. That's sort of the cru crucial point. So let's click where it says cell link and select cell F1 so that the software knows that this uh, control is now tied to that cell. So when I click OK, initially I still see the sizing handles around my scroll bar. So if I click away from it, uh, now I can use it. And you'll notice that because we had set the current value to zero, 
and then linked it to F1, that cell now has a value of zero. So as I click the scroll bar, it goes up by one every time, and that's being reflected by the values in the sales column. Now you heard me say that you can only put an integer here, so if we were to double click inside that cell, we can see that's actually a whole number. So how do I use the whole number here and make it work as a percentage over here with sales? Okay, so, so again, that's a limitation of the form version of the spin, or rather, uh, scroll bar. So here's what we do. Over in uh, cell B2, I'm taking the expense value, which is in C2, and I'm multiplying it by 1 plus the value in F1 divided by 100. So in other words, if the value in F1 is 25, divided by 100 is 0.25. So 1 plus 0.25 is 1.25, or 125%. So C2 times 125%. So at 50,000, that takes them to 62.5. So that's how we're able to sort of take that integer value uh, and make it show up or make it usable with our formula. Now the other part of this is you can see the percent sign there, even though the value inside is a whole number. Now if you've worked with percentages in Excel before, you know that if you have a whole number in a cell, like 30, and you simply use the percent icon on your ribbon, that whole number then works out to 3,000 percent because the value was a, a whole integer of 30. So how am I getting the percent to show up when I'm incrementing whole numbers but it doesn't change that 50 to 5,000 as it did over here with this percent sign? And that's because cell F1 is not formatted as a percentage. You'll notice when I click there it says custom in my pull down menu of number formats. So I'll show you how I did that. Um, I'll press Control-1, which is the keyboard shortcut for the Format Cells window. So I went into the, uh, into the uh, General tab initially, which is, you know, that's where it initially is. So on General, it just says uh, 50 for the value. But I, I then went to Custom and typed um, uh, 0, but if I add the percent sign this way as just a character inside quotes, it just simply appends it to my number, and uh, then it looks the way that I want. So I click OK, and so now it behaves the way I want it to. And we set the maximum of this scroll bar to 200, so that's as far as I can go, and the minimum was set uh, to zero. And of course, since the chart is bound to the data, as we change uh, the scroll bar, uh, then that's going to change the values in our chart. So that's it. That's the scroll bar control. I hope you find it useful. Please uh, like the video if you find it useful and uh, subscribe and uh, learn about new videos that get posted. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.